Hey coach, so glad you found the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you put banners and national rankings and all those things in your gym. Uh, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's a community of like-minded coaches. We just got off an hour and a half call. Come over and join us and let's head off to the video. All right, today in the one one three defense here, to start off, we have our top guard here. Our top guard starts inside the three-point range here, and this is where he starts. He's going to make himself extremely big. The second position here in the one one three, this is your most athletic player, probably one of your quickest guards or one of your quickest forwards, but this, this particular player will play right inside the middle of the paint, and you'll know why just in a moment. Also, the back three here in black, we have our big post player here. Another wing player, a post player. We have here in black also our last post player, a wing player in the one one three. Now, to start off, in a typical set, and I'm just going to go over just the, the first rotation of the one one three. The one one three is a zone defense, and the one one three is designed to keep the ball on the perimeter. It stopped the dribblers from passing and attacking the basket. Also, it stops you from feeding the pass inside the paint. If you have a player that's like 6'9 or 6'8, it shuts them down. It prevents them from touching the ball inside the paint. And in just a moment, you're going to see how it works in the slide. The first pass, the first pass here. On the first pass, we have the first player goes out and he can test. Notice the position of the first defender. The defender is, is guarding him straight up and forcing the dribbler to go towards the baseline. We call this fan defense. We're going to fan him towards the baseline. This defender is also stopping the player from attacking the paint. Attacking the paint. Stay just like that. The middle person goes from here back to here to front the post. This is where we shut down the inside post player. This player could be 6'9", 6'10", or even 6' foot tall like today. But we're stopping this player by getting in the pass lane. Notice that we have a front uh, player here defending. We also have a player in the back uh, defending as well in case to take away the lob, the lob play. Here on the back weak side, we do have our last defender here. It's protecting the paint and weak side in case there's a lob. That top guard drops all the way back inside the middle of the paint. Inside the middle of the paint. One more step. Perfect. With his hands extremely up wide and he's taking away the paint. The only open position is back up top at the top of the key where the defense resets. Awesome. Everyone understand? Yes sir. Perfect. The second pass, let's try it on the other side. On the pass, first pass, goes out, contest that hard, freeze. Good. We had the block player, goes completely out to contest it. Notice that he is fanning the, the dribbler towards the baseline. This is great defense. The middle guard goes from the middle of the paint and he goes and he fronts the post. Remember, we're taking away the inside presence. Here we have our post player here defending, taking away the, the, the high pass and we have our weak side sliding over to protect the weak side of the basket and take away the lob play. Now, we, the top guard that was here drops all the way back in the middle of the paint with his hands extremely wide in case there's a cutter to take it away. As you look at all the gentlemen in black, as you can see, they're in perfect position to stop the entry pass. Ball up top. Now, we just demonstrated how to take away, how to front the post on both sides, the left side and the right side. Now, I'm going to show you, show you how to take away the dribbler from attacking the paint. We're going to stop all ball penetration. Now, on the pass, the first pass, you come out and contest. You go to the block to front. Now, if he penetrates, you want to get to your spot and stop the penetration. All right, let's demonstrate. First pass here. Go out. Beat him off the dribble. Close out. Good. Freeze. Everyone stop. Perfect. What we have here is perfect defense. We stop the penetration. We take away the, uh, the post player over here. We get, we get a slide over here to make sure that we, we force the ball to pass back out to top 
or log the pass over there. Now freeze. Right now, let's say the only easy pass is up top. Here's the easy pass. Good. That quick pass there. And the, notice how it rotates. Perfect. All right. Let's say he penetrates. Penetrates. And see ball. See ball. Yeah, penetrates. Go in. Good. Tax it. Freeze. Hold. Once they close out here, we got to remember, you got to stay all the way back here so you can read. You don't want to come up so high because if you come up so high, they throw the lob pass and we get dunked on. So you got to protect the weak side. Trust me, they have the penetration. Stop. The ball comes here. Now a quick swing here. That's you. Perfect. Let's say he penetrates baseline. We fan the baseline. Good. We seal that. All right, perfect. Let's say the ball is up top here. We get a high contest here. High contest here. We dribble. Still in the same defense. Perfect. That's the pass goes here. Let's say it penetrates baseline. Penetrates baseline. Perfect defense. Freeze. The ball comes up top here. We have the top guard plays it here. As long as in position. Perfect. Let's say the ball swings there. Good rotation. We're taking away the drive. Drive either side. Left, right, drive. Good. Close it. Perfect. Ball up top here. Good. Contest. Let's say I penetrate it tight. Steps up. You stay down. You got to stay down. Good. Because your job is that side. He always has penetration. The ball kicks out here. That's your spot. He goes right there, his spot. Let's say the ball is here. Nice rotation. Ball skips there. He penetrates baseline. Perfect. Ball kicks here. Perfect. Let's say I penetrate here. Close out. Good. You stay down. Remember, he has a uh, right. He has penetration in case I kick the ball there. Ball goes there. Now we're back in it. Everyone understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, reset. As you can see in the 1 1 3, the 1 1 3 defense, notice on every first pass, every first pass, we have the block going out contesting. We don't want to give up an easy three point basket. We still want to contest. All right. Now, the defense is designed to keep the ball in the perimeter. The only way the defense can get burned is if they attack and the slides aren't there and the players are playing it extremely lazy. But as you can see, in the perfect, in the perfect world, we have all five guys in black running to their spots and they're jumping to the position and jumping to the ball and playing great defense. All right. Hey coach, hope you're liking the video. Hope you are. Uh, make sure you like down below. That will help a ton. Um, and it helps our videos, other people find us. Also go over and check out um, the subscribe button and the little bell will help you get notified when we put a new video up every day. Check teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.